my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about a very practical example of how to use the taxonomy feature of .NET Nook. So last week I have mentioned about taxonomy, foxonomy, but then I, I said to myself that I had to find a module out there that would be using taxonomy and foxonomy in .NET Nook already. So I went to Snowcover, I did some search on Google, and I came across this module called uh, watchernet.techcloud. So uh, it seems to me that this module does use uh, taxonomy, that's, that's what it says here, and it does use taxonomy to create a tech cloud. So for those of you who don't know what a tech cloud is, I'm going to give an example from my, my own website. If you go to, .net, to dnnhere.com, if you scroll down on the right side, you're going to see uh, this area that is called tech cloud. Uh, here you can see a lot of different uh, terms, words, and when you click on one of those words, it will filter all the different uh, posts related to that word. So this is what a tech cloud is. It's a, it's a bunch of terms that you can click on those terms. You can click on those uh, words and, and the site will filter its content based on that selected word. So this tech cloud module, uh, what it seems to do, it seems to allow us to use uh, the taxonomy to, to create a tag cloud based on the taxonomy uh, from the website. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to download this module, we're going to install in our test site, and we're going to see how it works. So let's download it. I'm going to post this link in the video post. So let's download it from here. And then let's click download here. This is, this is a free... Uh, free module okay it's available under codeplex so i will download from here i'm gonna save this it's saved i'm gonna open the folder i'm gonna just copy the url i'm gonna go to my test site this is my uh test site i'm gonna log in as host because i have to install the module and then i'm gonna go to host module definitions and then I'm gonna go to the action menu and to install module so from here I can click browse I'll paste the URL, the, the path to the module I'm gonna select the module I'm gonna click open I'm gonna click next now next again It says here at the top that this version is for .NET Nook 5.3.0 in higher. This is higher, actually, this is 5.4.4. So let's click Next. And then let's accept the license. Let's click Next. It's installed, installation successful. Let's click Return. Let's have a look and see if the module is installed. Scroll down, scroll down. So it's right here, watchersnet.techcloud. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the home page and you're gonna see that the home page is already tagged as uh, related to accounting and marketing. What you're gonna try to do now is create a new page just so we can put this module, this new module on. So this is new page. And I'm gonna make it available to all users. Let's click update. So it's added at the top. Let's just remove this HTML text module. And at the top, I'm gonna select the watchersnet.techcloud. And I'm gonna add this to the content pane, that's fine. So here's the module. So let's explore a little bit on the settings of this module. It already comes here with a, with a bunch of terms. I'm not sure where it's gathering that from. Most likely it's from the index of the uh, website. But let's have a look at the action menu. Let's go to settings. We must be able to see some different settings there. So here under tag cloud settings, 
we do have the option to choose tag modes, search refers, search words, which is already pre-selected, custom tags and taxonomy. Let's select taxonomy and see what happens there. Select terms, nodes, show terms of current tab, show all terms. I'm going to ask to show all the different terms and I'm going to update at the button. Now, if we have a look at the module, it's showing the three different uh, classifications, three dif four different taxonomies that were created for this site. Let's go to that mean so just we can double check that taxonomy. And if we select departments, we're going to be able to see that it's there's accounting, marketing, operations and sales. And if we go to the new page, it's showing exactly those four. So if I click on, let's say, operations, it, it goes to search the contents, the pages, the modules that are tagged as operations. Uh, in our case, we don't have any with operations, but let's select marketing because the home page has market on it. So yes, so when I click marketing, it comes to the search results for marketing tag and it does show home page. So this is just a very simple, very practical example of a module uh, from .tatook that is already making use of taxonomy. And again, if we go back to the settings, there are a bunch of different uh, settings there, but the different options. You can, for instance, specify the dimensions of the tech cloud. You can also go under the 3D flash settings, specify colors. Again, there are a bunch of options here that you can play around. But the basic goal of this video was to show a practical, uh, very pragmatic use of taxonomy in .NET Nook being used by, by another module. Thank you very much for that. Bye now.